Uh, welcome back to Comp Sci Made Easy. This is Shannon Crowley, and I am going to be showing you how to do the curve stitching, which is an optional project in Unit 3 on the BJC AP CSP curriculum. Uh, so they don't really give you much to go off of here. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to first draw the XY axis, and then if, if you I think they had an animation somewhere here. Um, not really, never mind. Um, they kind of give you a hint that these are basically just straight lines going, being drawn, and it ends up looking like a curve. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a for loop that will make my axis. So I'm going to move forward 150 steps and then I'm going to move back 100 or negative 150 and I'm going to turn 90 and I'll do this four times oops forgot the pin okay so there's my axis so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some uh, two variables called the x and the y value and I'm going to start up here and then I'm going to just draw lines and what will happen is my x will go up by 10 this way and the y will go down by 10 this way and it'll keep going back to the same axis so we can have a constant too so i'm gonna write x value y value so i'm gonna set x to zero set y to 150 and if I do a go to, so I do that, my sprite will start up here. And then I'm going to use a for loop. Um, I'm going to do 15, since I'm going to go down by 10 each time. And I will go to Z, um, my Y will be zero. My X is going to go up by 10. And then I'm going to go to the X value zero. And then my Y will have to go down by 10. And then I'm going to have to go to zero y value. Let me see what if this works. That's it. Okay, if you want to add their fancy colors that they got, I always set the pen to a different color first, and then we can like change the pen hue in here. So there's a like a rainbow color. So I'm gonna put this in a block. And I'm just going to call it quadrant one. One. Oh, you know, what? I'm going to make it a motion. I'm going to duplicate it because quadrant two. If I'm going to go over here, my the the y stays the same. The only difference is the x is going down. So my x value needs to go down by ten. So that was super simple, right? Quadrant two. I know it's usually two Roman numerals, but we're just gonna do it that way. Duplicate. Um, so quadrant three, my X is still going down, but my Y we're gonna start at negative 150. And then my Y will go up by 10. Let's see if that's right. Yep. Quadrant three. And then the last one, hopefully you figured out or are thinking about it. Um, this time the X is going up, not down. All right, so last one, quadrant what I can do is grab, you could put this 
in a block well I'm not gonna do that so I'll just go like this with these here and then there is a border um, you know what? I'm gonna open one of these up to make my border I'm just gonna duplicate it it's gonna be similar so for the border I'm gonna have it start at the end here at, at um, my Y this time is gonna be positive 150 and my oopsies didn't mean to do that let me put a clear here just in case I need a reset I'll actually might do it real quick oh what oh whoopsies I don't know why I grabbed one twice um okay so 150 zero is over here and then we're gonna go to up here it would be 150 150 so go to this will be 150 here so my X is going to go down by 10 because when it goes I might actually just so it um let me just see if I can if this makes sense real quick I don't know if that'll kind of want to start there but then when it comes back let's see maybe I will um, I might do that at the end I'm going to save that guy over here I don't want it to mess up this so zero and my Y what's got to happen to my Y my Y is going up so let's see what that oh wrong way hold on what am I doing start at 150 zero and then we need to go to 150 150 where it would be 140 150 And then, oh, I have zero here. That's why it should be 150. There we go. Um, all right, let's press this. Let's do. That was, we have to do something just in case, like where I was, we have to go to zero, zero, clear. There we go. All right, and then we got this border one. So if you notice, it doesn't have that line there. So what I could do is maybe just go back to my original point here and it'll draw it because it's, it's ended up right there. So we'll say go to 150, zero. I'm just gonna click that, there we go. All right, so now we have border one. Sorry for my delay there. All right. Now we'll do border two will be over here. So my X is going to be negative 150. And my X is going up. Let's try that. This actually is negative 150. Negative 150. Okay, there we go. Um, so we're going to do border two. All right, now border three, we will change the Y to negative 150. And and it goes here, the Y starting at zero, Y will be going down. Okay, and we got one more. Oops. 
All right, the last one is over here. My X is 150. So I gotta make sure I change it here and here. My Y is still negative. My X is, since we're starting here, my X will be going to the left, so it'll be going down. And the Y is going down. That's it. So we got everything. Um, I hope that if you had questions about this, I hope my explanation cleared anything up. But if you ha still have questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try and get to it when I can. You can obviously throw all these on here. Um, this was part of the if there is time. But I I'm not going to do the take it further. So I, I did this. So the take it further is, you know, what you could do is kind of spin it, you know, have it point in a different direction. Um, but my obviously my coordinates wouldn't work anymore for that. You'd have to kind of figure out what coordinates you'd be going to for that. So, um, good luck with that if you do decide to try it. I'm missing another border. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.